We're back with 843 TV here from City Council learning so much about the city of Buford and joining us now is newbie, I guess you could say, yes. Mr. David Prashard, who is the director of the development and community department. Did yes. I get that right? That's yes. a mouthful. Yes, community and economic development. Yes, it is a mouthful. And you've got a lot going on. We're going to talk about what those initiatives are about the department. So, but welcome to Buford Thank County. You. Officially, you're four months into this. And, four months. And you're here in the great time, spring, coming, summer, and, and so many good things. So let's talk about what your about your new role. Okay. Well, I'm the director of the department. Uh, the department, we're responsible for planning codes enforcement and building uh, codes, which means we have a, we'll have a planner three, a planning manager, a planner that works in the department. Um, we have a development service manager, um, a plans review coordinator, a permit technician. We have a building official, uh, and then we have a building inspector and also a, plans, a building plans uh, examiner. So you have taken care of all the things, any new growth, any new buildings, all that stuff, Codes is a big word in Beaufort County right. <laughs> and elicits a lot of different reactions. So uh, what type of initiatives and responsibilities are you working on now? Well, overall, generally our responsibilities are to encourage and guide the development for the city. Uh, also, we're a technical resource for the citizens uh, and uh, the administration and for the elected and, and uh, appointed officials. And then also we're stewardship, we have stewardship of the uh, comprehensive plan, the city's comprehensive plan, the zoning code, and also the building code. And um, so the major initiatives that we have going on right now is that we um, we're about to update the comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. And the comprehensive plan is, is kind of the, it's the overarching planning document for the city. And so in that, we do a current assessment of where we are in the city. Uh, we look at land use, transportation, cultural resources, the natural environment, capital improvements. Um, we assess where we are there. We determine where we want to go as a city, what's important to us, and then we, uh, then we have objectives for mm -hmm for the entire city. And that kind of sets the tone for all our future development decisions for the city. Um, also, we're about to have a quarterly review of our zoning code, which we, we do to make sure that the zoning code is what we want it to be and that it's uh, in accordance with the comp plan. So those comp plans, kind of the big, broad goals, kind of the holistic, we looked at everything, all at kind of all how things fit together. And then the zoning code is specific rules that to accomplish that. Sure. And so every now and then, well I'd say every now and then, four times a year, the city of Beaufort uh, does a review and makes any changes it feels it's necessary. Can you tell us or share any about some of those initiatives that are on your comprehensive plan? That Can we take a peek? Can you take a peek into that for the viewers and tell us what you might be working on there? So one of the things we'll look at, like for land use, will be um, where we have certain types of land use. In general categories, we're looking at, at residential, where you want residential, where you want commercial, where you want industrial, uh, and how those fit together. And the key thing there is to try to deconflict and not have any, um, where you're creating nuisances for you know, different landowners. Uh, and what's most efficient as far as how that fits in with transportation and how it, what, where it goes and, because we're worried about generating traffic on roads that maybe already have a lot of traffic on them. So all those type of things will be kind of considered in the land use. And one of the things I'm hearing since I've been here is that a lot of people are concerned about the environment. They want to make sure they protect the beauty of, of Beaufort, but also they're worried about you know climate change or perhaps sea level rise. And so we'll need to look at that as well. I know the previous comp plan, which was done in 2009, did look at sea level rise, but we'll take another look and update all that kind of data as well. You mentioned then 2009. How often is that comprehensive plan looked at and reviewed? So it's um, in five years, it, it's reviewed and then to see if there's any necessary changes, at, and, but then 10 years, it has an update. So okay. um, not that you wouldn't update it in that five year if you felt it was necessary, but you look at it at five years and definitely update in 10 years. And so we're due, uh, the last one was 2009. In 2014, we kind of had a, a, a slight update uh, with the Civic Master Plan, which is a kind of an addendum to the comprehensive plan. And so now it's time for the overall entire plan to be updated. For residents in the community, if they have um, some concerns or issues, is there a way that they can directly get involved with this committee? How to how do you choose who's involved? Yes, so at any time, anybody can call me and, and I'll you know, ask any questions about the comp plan, but we'll also have uh, public engagement. So we'll, okay. have, we'll have meetings where 
we get with the public and they tell us what's important to the city and we'll get a vibe, it will uh, uh, keep them up to date on where we are on the progress of the plan. And of course, the plan will then go to also formal review by the Planning Commission and then also by the City Council. And there's also opportunities there, each one of those for the public to engage in the process. Now, we shared you're pretty new here, just been here a couple of months. Anything, any takeaways in just this short time you've been here about Beaufort County, about now you're a resident yourself. So. Well, I'm very struck with, uh, I, and this is a very good thing, is that how much the, the uh, citizens are involved. There's a lot of public engagement, and I think that makes for better laws, it makes for better decisions for us as administration and as elected officials. So that's one thing I've really been struck with, and I think that's probably a lot that goes very far towards why Beaufort's the place it is and why mm -hmm. it's so successful. Yeah, well, attracted you here from, you're from Tennessee, you've I'm been there Tennessee. most of the, your time, as you were saying, but, yep. so as you uh, get settled here, you and your family, I'm assuming, we hope that you can enjoy some of the beauty that is out there, not just work all the time, but. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, we'll have to strive for that. Well, I know there's so much to share, and you're excited about your new role and lots ahead, so we'll um, have, keep tabs with you and yes. see how things are coming along. And we're glad that you all stayed and tuned in today for this very important episode of 843 TV from City Hall in Beaufort. And join us next time where communities come to speak.